new videos every day. Life, wisdom, psyche truth, massage. This is Athena Jezik. We're going to work a little bit on the neck today. And Courtney has some issues going on with her neck, so it'll be interesting to see how that works out. And are you a cat person or a dog person? I've got four cats, five cats actually. One of them is more of a feral cat. So of course I'm a cat person. And I think dogs are really sweet, but they're kind of annoying when they start licking your face and all that kind of stuff. So let me know if you're a cat or a dog person and why you like those animals. I just like to find out what my viewers like. What I'm doing here is I'm just giving a little range of motion on her neck and I'm going to do an occipital base release because of the tension that's in the muscle. So we're going to be going underneath right at the ridge of the occipital bone and just letting that relax. Hands, fingers are pointed towards the eyes and you follow it back. This looks easy to do, but it actually takes a little bit of practice with your hands. To get it right so you're in the right place, otherwise it doesn't really work too well. Okay. And the clavicles, you can sometimes spread them a little bit. They don't spread much, but there are two little tiny joints on each side. One is attaching into the acromion, the other one into the sternum. The clavicles run across like that, which is part of the neck. There's attachments into the clavicle. Also is where the lymphatic vessels run along the uh, superior side of the clavicle. I'm putting a little oil here to give a little bit, bit of viscosity to the skin so I can stretch into the muscle. Start by lifting this up and turning the head sideways while I'm running up the muscle on the back side. And you don't want to turn it too quickly. You want to feel, as your fingers are coming up, you want to feel where the tension is. If your clients are wearing earrings, as happening today, you want to be real careful not to pull them. It's actually better to do massage therapy without any jewelry on. But sometimes people do leave things on, so just be mindful of that. and work around it and take those little turns the head I'm gonna go down with two fingers underneath and come up the with the spine being in the center and then her head is just gonna lay in the palm of my hand and you can rock it a little bit You can do it again. I'll do it with the other hand, just in case you can see it a little bit differently. And then just let the head, when you get to the occipital base, you can just let the head just rest in the hand and rotate it back and forth a little bit. Okay, you can take your thumbs right down on the along the sternocleomastoid, but you want to be careful along there, getting into a lot of structures. A lot of nerve activity, vein, lymphatic vessels. So you want to be careful of the neck. It's really a pretty vulnerable structure. So 
so we can move to the front part. Do a little lymph here. Sometimes when there's stiffness in the neck, you're going to find that there's fluid stuck in the muscle tissue. And the muscles work, they'll work themselves out better if the fluids are moved out of that muscle. So it's sometimes it's nice to be able to do a little lymph work to clear a muscle of extra fluid. You can go along the clavicle, along the trapezius. And as we felt on the back, there's a well-developed levator muscle, especially on the right. Is that your purse side? <laughs> the upper chest and here we've did this earlier on a male subject so here you can still do the same thing on a female but you're not going to go as low and also into the pack you can pull the pack up this direction and you can go deep with it but you just want to be careful not to poke And the other side. You can get just as deep with it with your fingers as you can the other way. Or you can go the other way in where the thumbs are going in. But again, you don't want to poke. You can go in this way too, whichever is more comfortable. But be careful not to just jam the thumbs or the fingers in. Sometimes this is a very ticklish area. There's also a lot of lymph nodes a little bit deeper into the armpit. Unwinding where we're actually going to turn the head and you want to do this very slowly and be very careful what you're feeling for. There's some tension. And sometimes too you're not really directing where it's going as much as you're following where it wants to go, particularly when there's tension in a neck or a tight neck. You can find the muscle that's tight, but when you're doing the unwinding, you want to follow the line of the fascia. The fascia will lead you around if you just uh, go slow enough at it and just let it take some turns itself and just follow. And sometimes it doesn't make any sense how it wants to go, but it's wanting to unwind on its own. feels much more movable than it did, but she'll be the one to know if it's working itself out or not. So now I'm just going to take my hands and slowly bring them up, really, really slowly, and just uh, do like a donkey donkey thing where the muscle is pushing back with the same force that I'm pushing in, and it's not a fight, it's a lean. And what's happening under my fingers here is there's a lot of muscles that are being released right now. There's a pulsing sensation. That is what, in cranial work, we call a therapeutic pulse, which means tissues are about to change or release. So oftentimes, if you just slow the work down and get your hands in there to communicate with with the tissue, you're going to find a lot of things to discover. The body will tell you a lot if you don't rush through it, so... And it does get very relaxing. I think in our fast-paced society, we just want everything done quickly. It's good to be able to just slow everything down and take it all in. 
So there was some definitely there were some changes that went on in this neck. You can also check the hyoid. You can place the hand along the vertebrae, um, the back hand, and then let's do it this way. Well, no, let's do it this way. And then just on the hyoid, and you can get a feel for what that bone is doing if it's being pulled. That little bone does not attach to the skeleton. It's a floating bone and it's attached with muscles. So when things are pulled sideways, that's going to have an effect on the hyoid. And as you do this, you'll probably feel it moving from side to side or moving like a teeter-totter. It's just finding its place from being a little tense or being pulled on. It's not a lot of movement. It's a very small amount of movement, but it's very significant once you begin to feel it. And while I'm doing this, I can also feel a release in muscles in the back of the neck where my bottom hand is. So there's a little bit more with the neck, and then you can just rotate again. I like to hold the neck. feel different. And there we go. Okay, there's the neck. So we've completed a little bit of network, neck work and that's the routine for that. So just let me know, do you like dogs or cats better? Are you a cat person or a dog person? Thank you.